always sad when a cruise ends. Good morning. Good morning. It is debarkation day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are packed up. We have weighed our suitcases. We're going to be good for our flight home, but our flight home isn't until late tonight. After sunset tonight, we don't arrive back in Detroit until after midnight. So we have a full day here in Fort Lauderdale. So we're going to start the day out by going down and having our last meal on board New Amsterdam. At the main dining room. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. And then after that, we are going to take all our stuff and carry off our own stuff. We didn't check any luggage. And then we will head to the airport. Not because we need to get on a plane, because we have to pick up a rental car. Yeah. And then we are going to head over to the hotel where Paul and Carol are staying. I'm going to pick them up too, and we'll see what kind of trouble we can get in around Fort Lauderdale today before we have to fly home tonight. Mm. Yeah, that, I'm sure we will get into trouble. <laughs> and it'll be all Paul's fault, I'm sure of it. <laughs> okay, well, let's get some breakfast before they shut down the dining room and kick us off the ship. <laughs> all right, come along, guys. We're definitely back. Planes are taking off. Coast Guard going by. Looks like we're tucked in, I believe, where we started this adventure seven days ago. Sun's just rising off to the east. And I can't see any other cruise ships in port, but I'm just about 100% sure there are. Okay, we're having some breakfast here, a little sticky bun. A little bit of waffles. Okay, and I made myself a little breakfast sandwich. Bagel with sausage, cheese, and egg. It's time to leave. We're done our breakfast. It is, what time we got? Time check? 8.45. 8.45, I think they want us all off by 9.30. Is that something your bell? I think so. Okay, here we are, getting off to New Amsterdam. Can't say I'll be back anytime soon. As much as I don't love the ship and everything about it, it's the internet. <laughs> it's a hurdle. <laughs> Maybe not for some, but otherwise, beautiful ship, beautiful experience, great company. Time to step on land in Florida again. Goodbye, New Amsterdam. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you so much. Welcome. Oh, we are parked again in front of the Celebrity Beyond. Here we go. Time to go through immigration and head to that airport. Okay, we're here picking up the rental car now at the Fort Lauderdale Airport. And now we're gonna head out into town. <laughs> okay, here's our ride for the day. Looks like some kind of a Buick Enclave. Hello. Hi, everyone. Their Buick Enclaves come with Mrs. Canucks in the front seat. <laughs> okay, exit. Okay, we are here at Fort Lauderdale Beach. Looks like green flag today, low hazard. Remember my episode on Half Moon Key, me looking just like David Hasselhoff? Sean Connery, David Hasselhoff, what a combination. the beach in Fort Lauderdale. Wavy day, but the wind is nice and uh, warm, gorgeous. Just got a little splash in the water. We're having a wonderful time here. Yeah, very windy. It's not super hot, but everybody around here is loving it. Yeah. We get a picture of there, ready? too hot. Yeah, let's do that. Everybody should All look. Right. We're right across from the Olive Garden, which is where we're going for lunch. We've been to Olive Garden a long time. Time for some to eat. 
here at Olive Garden. The bread has started to roll out. This is the endless bread. Endless bread. Look at how nice how it is. How many can we eat? Okay, the unlimited salad is showing up. Look at this. These little hot peppers are the best thing going right there. And the unlimited soup is here. This is what's called Toscana. Something. There's a word before Toscana. Oh, with a, with a Z or a Z. The Z or Z. 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 Here. <laughs> soup of Toscana. I think that's the name. Minestrone soup. It's very good. My brother makes it. Okay, Mrs. Canuck's lunch has arrived. And I am having some spaghetti meat sauce. And I'm just eating unlimited soup salad and breadsticks and I'm waiting. I'm out the breadsticks. Okay, we have finished with Olive Garden and uh, we have dropped off friends to do some shopping and we are now at the Hilton Marine Hotel. See here, a lot of cruisers stay there when they're in Fort Lauderdale. And in behind me, I'll see if you can see it. Back behind me there is the Regal Princess. Uh, also in port, looks like there's a Royal Caribbean, might be Oasis or Ovation of the Seas. Uh, Celebrity Beyond is right in front of our new Amsterdam. So looks like I can see four cruise ships in this uh, area. And uh, Mrs. Canuck is over here trying to buy a parking ticket uh, for us to stay here and go up and visit Colin Carroll and we're going to be doing a live with them so just waiting for uh, the ticket to put in the dash so we can head into the hotel and uh, get ready for the live. No success with the parking machine. Won't take our Canadian credit card so we're going to try another parking lot right beside this one. Closing my Enclave trunk, maybe. I think it's supposed to close on its own. Success, finally. With the parking meter, now we can get into the Hilton Marine and see what this is looking like. Oh, I see Mrs. Canuck ahead. We're heading that way now. So we are down at the Hilton on the marina. Anyways, we're just uh, checking things out around this area. We're under the lift bridge right now, but the water taxi is here. Let's see if we can get some shots of that before it pulls away. People are getting ready to go on the water taxi and go for a ride. Uh, and updates on yet another hotel in Fort Lauderdale that I'm not sure we're going to recommend, but we're going to find out more as this afternoon progresses. Yeah. Okay, getting yourself oriented down here at the Hilton Marina Hotel. You can see the cruise ships down there. Celebrity Beyond is the most recognizable. In front of that is New Staten Dom. And then uh, there's the swing bridge. And there goes the water taxi that runs through the kind of the canals here that run through Fort Lauderdale. Just pulling away now from the little taxi stand that's here at the Hilton Marina Hotel. One of the benefits of this location is that it gives you a way to explore. If you want something a little bit different. Yeah, I like that idea. I think yeah. that would be lots of fun. Oh, it looks like I can see a celebrity ship in behind the New Amsterdam. No, I didn't notice that earlier when we were leaving. So there's five ships in. So yeah, so update. Our experience at our Avid Hotel, I think, was good. good. It gave mm -hmm. us a night. It was, like I said, more expensive, but that's Fort Lauderdale for you mm -hmm. than what I felt comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Paul and Carol trying to check in right now at the Hilt Marina and kind of nothing but grief. It's heading past, what? 2.30. 2.30, heading towards the middle of the afternoon. They're not being in any way polite or cooperative or helpful of them getting into their, their room. They've dropped luggage off here earlier, so they were able to do that. But yeah, they're trying to get into their room and there's no... Uh, and they were told, when they asked how long it would be, they were told, we don't know, it could be 10 minutes, it could be an hour, it could be two. Yeah, they said probably around one o'clock is what they were told. Yeah. But we're well past that now and they still can't get in their cabin. Cabin. Mm. You can tell they're getting off a cruise ship. Can't get in their room, so... Yes. Look what we found outside. <laughs> She's out at the Hilton Marina What's back that? patio. Okay, we're just outside the Hilton Marina Hotel. A little windy here, hopefully you can hear me. A couple big yachts, a seating area, there's the hotel. And uh, this is Canuck trying not to blow away. Okay, we are on the balcony of Paul and Carol's room here at the Hilton Marina, overlooking the pool. And we had said they're having a bit of an issue checking in. So yeah, I'm not sure if the room was supposed to be marina facing or pool facing but either way there's a room here we're going to get ready and do the live right there, right there. <laughs> hey. 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 
<laughs> Welcome to our, our live from Fort Lauderdale. Thanks all for joining us. Um, we can see there's lots of our, our regulars here already. Um, we'd like to introduce the Cruise and Connects. Hi, uh, Jill and Jerry, who've been, we've been spending the week, as you all have seen on our social media, on Holland America. Um, and it's been such great fun, hasn't it? Yeah. Such <laughs> is doing a little exploring here at the Hilton Marina. A little bit of a pan here. I think they call this the East Wing, possibly over on this side. This must be the main part of the hotel there, the high rise. Kind of uh, like a lot of other Fort Lauderdale hotels, it's a little bit dated. I see the clouds, hopefully not the rain, are coming in. Got to get to our rental vehicle so we can find our way to the airport for our late flight tonight. We're coming out the other side, exiting the Hilton. So, on our search for the perfect Fort Lauderdale Hotel, it will not be this one for us. I would stay here if we got a really good deal on it. Like by good deal, even if we talk American dollars, I'd want it for under 200. Oh, well, I would say 250 would be where I would be comfortable getting it for, but I don't know that I'll ever get it there here for that price. Hmm. Yeah. Off maybe we go. We're just, maybe we're just cheap. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. Fancy dinner tonight, look where we are. Waiting for our food at McDonald's. Good morning. We are in Detroit, Michigan. Still six hours from our home, but the cold weather is reminding us that we're heading back to the snow. A little windy and cool out there. Yes. You last saw us heading into McDonald's. <laughs> I forgot to film the chicken nuggets. Fancy lunch. Can't, can't believe you missed out on chicken nugget footage. <laughs> Could have compared it to her princess chicken nuggets. But oh, man. So we headed to the airport. Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale Airport was probably the craziest we've ever seen. And we've seen it pretty nuts in there. Yeah, we've been there over Christmas and New Year's when it's been really busy. But uh, spring break wins. It was busier. <laughs> yep, there was a lot of people that didn't even have a seat. That were like on the floor sure. and standing up. It was just, we thought in the evening it might be a little quieter, but no such luck. We've only ever gone out of the same terminal because we tend to fly Delta. And so it's always been Terminal 2. But I'm almost interested to fly a different airline just to see if the terminal is that small and lacking of services as that one is. Yep, and even when the terminal is quiet, it's... There's not a lot there, overpriced food, it's kind of, eh, not my not my terminal. But besides that, we jumped out of plane, no problems getting home. No, we had a uh, great flight. We arrived uh, safely, and we stayed at the... Uh, Fairfield Mar by Marriott. Yeah, Fairfield here, and it's, it's also linked up with a, park a park and, and fly, fly setup. We did a reverse park and fly, we parked here and then we stayed at the end, which they do. And uh, so yeah, if you want to check out, we did a little bit of a cabin. <laughs> I keep saying cabin because I've been on a it's cruise. On a ship, so. When I get on a ship, I always call it a room. But anyways, uh, a little bit of a room tour for Fairfield here. So yeah, we definitely would stay here. We've stayed here before now. And we have, stay, and it's it's never let us down. It's, the rooms are always nice and clean. And I'm pretty sure we got upgraded into a suite last night. Yeah. Not that it really mattered by the late time we got back in. But uh, yeah, beautiful room here. So check it out. Yeah, and the nice thing is the parking arrangement also includes a free shuttle to the airport back and forth. So yeah, it's a really, really affordable. It's almost what you pay for parking by itself. You pay for your room and your parking. So a great deal yeah, at the Fairfield. It is, yeah. So we're going to head up the I-75 back to Canada, mm -hmm. back to the snow, mm -hmm. but we just wanted to say, probably unless something dramatic happens on the way home, <laughs> we hope it doesn't with our car, but there's a chance. Um, just thank you for watching. If you've watched the whole thing, you see the, the fun time that we had with Paul and Carol. It was, uh, it was a pleasure to meet them. We had a wonderful time. For sure. Yeah. We had a great cruise. Aruba, Curacao, never let you down as destinations. Half Moon Key, lovely spot. So yeah, great itinerary, wonderful cruise ship all in America. New Amsterdam was a great trip. Sure was, yes. So uh, yeah, and if, you have, if this is the last one you happen to be catching, go back and catch the earlier part of the trip. So it was a lot of fun. And uh, we will also be having a ship tour coming of that. We also have a bunch of cabin tours coming out from that. We, we were able to check out several different cabins. So lots of content coming out for for this uh, new Staten Island, well, new Amsterdam cruise. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned because I'm not gonna give you the details yet, but it's gonna be announced very soon. We will be cruising with Paul and Carol again. So we'll just leave it there. I'm not gonna say when that's coming up. We've got something special booked, but uh, 
thanks for watching everybody if you haven't already then do the subscribe thing and uh, and you'll be able to see future content that we have on upcoming cruises all right goodbye for now take care everybody